Alright, hey everybody, it's Duke here at Developer Inspirates. Welcome back to Daily Challenge. And today, Daily Challenge, we still have this very similar app, right? You see that in the last Daily Challenge, we have an introduction to WebKit. And in this one, we built a very similar app, but the whole coding, the whole, um, the whole execution thing behind this app is completely different and I show you how to, uh, what is it different the difference is it has the sign up button you can go to the sign website <laughs> no I'm kidding the difference is in the last daily challenge we use WebKit in this daily challenge we'll use UI web view and there is some um, advantages versus disadvantages into this approach so let's find out how to use it the first thing I want you to do is go to the, go to the link right down below whether you are on YouTube or you are on Udemy or you are on Developer Inspirers. Download the pro starter project right down below. Alright, I hope that you follow along with me and download this project. Now let me find the project. <laughs> okay, um, this is web view. All right, so here is our starter project. With this one, we'll have some of the URLs that we are going to use. And the thing you to notice is that we have a string of valid HTML. And if you don't know, HTML is the mockup language and it allows you to build web pages, the structure of web pages. Almost all web pages you see out there are using HTML, okay? And we have some of the developer inspirers URLs. Now let's go find out how to use UI web view. Okay. So in the view did load, I will, um, the first thing I want to show you is that UI web view can load HTML. Now, how are we do going to do this? I would do write a function load HTML. Okay. And we have a string of HTML right there. So I will load that HTML on to the browser. Okay. So what we do func load HTML. And from from there I would do let web view equals UI web view. Okay. And then frame which is view dot bound. And then I would do web view dot load load html string and then this is uppercase lowercase e and then html string and then base urls the base urls we don't care about that so i will pass in nil just like that okay all right and then i will have to add this to the view right view dot add sub view web view okay believe it or not this is it we um, the the point I want to prove with you is that the web UI web view can load the whole blowing HTML. So you have a file HTML valid HTML string. You can load it here, and I believe that it can load. Um, let me comment this out because this one we will comment this one out. Okay, the menu change, and then now let's run this one so that we can get a sense of what are we dealing with come on let me run it again okay so you see that we have this this is our web pages basically right this is we loaded from raw HTML you see that we have this is a brick that's why we have a blank space, a blank line over there. And then we have the, the strong tag. Okay. And if you are, if you don't know about HTML, that's okay. The point is just that later on in your project, if you want to load raw HTML, then you can use UI web view to load HTML. Okay. So now let's go find out how are we going to use to load a web page uh, from a URL with web view. Okay. But why are we? Why do I make another tutorial? Why we already have 
WK, which is the WebKit, in the last daily challenge. We also left, we also load can load the whole website from a URL with WebKit. Now the answer is UI web view is of course in the UI for, in the um, UI kit framework and WebKit is WebKit, okay? But the thing is with UI web view, I think that the code that you have to write is much less difficulty or much less complex. It is much easier to write the code in UI web view. It's like a few lines of code, um, maybe six, 10 lines of code. In contrast, WebKit, we have to import the import the um, framework. We have to set all kinds of things about JavaScript, things like that. But there is some disadvantages of with UI Web View. UI Web View allows you to have a ease of coding, but with advanced developer, they don't like that because UI Web View slows down the pro the loading process and it doesn't very fast it isn't very fast but if your project in your project if you use uh, just want to merely load a web v a web page and you don't care about the performance it doesn't hurt that much so use ui web view because it is simpler you don't have to import anything you just write a few lines of code pass in some parameters and that's it okay so let's find out how to use ui uh, web view to load a web page so I will have a comment over here and then I will load this I will write this function as func load our web view okay I'm sorry website and then I will pass in a um, I will pass in a string URL now string URL which is a string okay and then Inside this function, I will have to write some code to load the web page, obviously, right? So the first thing I want to do is I want to have the frame. Let's say I want to have var frame equals view.bounce. Next thing I want to have the frame of, um, I want to move the web view a little bit down below. So I will do frame dot origin dot y equals UI application dot shared application dot status bar frame and dot height. So with this way, I can move the whole thing down a little bit below the status bar. And then I would do frame dot size dot height equals, I'm sorry, minus equals frame dot origin dot y. Okay. And all right. And then I would do let web view equals UI web view. And then I do frame, which is view.bounce. And I'm sorry, you know what? We don't actually need that. So I will comment this out. Don't worry about that. Okay. And then I would do web view dot scales to fit, scales page to fit, meaning that I have this whole black canvas of page of screen and I want to fit the whole website. So if your website is more, it will fit it, but the user can still pinch and zoom to scale it back. Okay. And I want to send to true. Next thing I want to add this as a sub view, view dot add sub view, and then we'll do web view. Okay. So because we have a string of URL, so I would do that's URL. You, if maybe we'll do if let's URL equals UI um, NS URL string string URL okay and if it is not nil then I will have a request let request equals NS URL request URL URL okay so we have an URL from the string we passed in in this and then we will have a request out of it and then believe it or not, that's it because we can have web view dot load request. And then I pass in the request request. Okay. All right, let's run this one. Okay. It doesn't load because I have to call it up here, right? So I will comment this out and then I call load our web page. And by default, I want to load the featured URL. So I let's run this one. 
Okay, now it is loading. There we go. So you see that it is really easy to load a web view. Don't worry about this one because um, we grab it with a navigation controller. So everything will be down below the navigation bar. Okay, so, so you see that we have six lines of code and actually we can make it much shorter with <laughs> these things. It is much easier to write code in UI web view in basically in UI kit framework, but the performance is not as efficient as um, and powerful as as the uh, web kit because the web kit is the thing the framework that power the whole Safari app. But with this one, it is just a grab. It is just a UI kit thing that allows you to load a web page in a view controller. Okay. So the next thing I want to show you is that we let's say I want to implement this thing. Okay. Oh, I type it wrong. So let's over here. I will uncomment this one and. I will load this and can you try to load it yourself? So let's pause the video and try to do it yourself. All right, I hope that you pause the video and do it yourself. All you need to do here is just call this function, right? So let's say case one, I want to load our website, which is the featured URL. Here I want to load website, but I want to load it the tutorials website. And for this, I want to load the courses website. Okay. And let's do the load sign up page. All we need to do is load our website, sign up URL. Okay. So let's run this one. Okay. It is running. <laughs> All right. There we go. And let's say I want to sign up. And I really encourage you to sign up and check out our courses. They are free. We design it for you to start to learn iOS development or to bring your level of iOS development competency into a whole new level of competency. Okay. So I hope that these tutorials will be of help, great help to you. All right. But you see that as we load a new web page, there's no indicator here. So let's use that. And by that, I want to introduce you to UI Web View Delegates. Um, so I want to add the network indicator. Okay. And so the first thing, this is the comments I posted for you. The first thing is we will need to subscribe ourselves and the, as the Web View Delegates so that we get noticed when the Web View loads or it finishes loading or it fails to load. Okay. Uh, the case that it fails to load is maybe the user doesn't have cellular network or he or she isn't on Wi-Fi, right? So let's get this. Um, we will have to subscribe to here, right? So I would do UI Web View Delegate, and that's it. Right down here, I would do. Let's have some space. Over down this mark, I will have some. I want to add some three methods I want to override. The first thing is web view did start load. Okay. And this one, as the name suggests, it starts loading. This one gets called when when web view starts loading. So I would do UI application application dot shared application and network activity indicator visible equals true. And then the next method I want to show you is func web view did finish load. And this one I will just UI application, shared application, network activity, false. I want to hide that one. And maybe, maybe the web view is, um, it doesn't load. Okay. It fails to load. So I will have to do web view and then web view, web view view and then we will have did fail load with error okay and for this one we don't care about the error maybe you want to have an alert view into this and show the user what is the error so I would do UI application shared application dot network activity incubator false okay so let's run this all 
All right. So there we go. As we. Okay. But you see that as I load a new web page, there's nothing happen. Well, it's because we we conformed. We tell that we conform to this, but we never set the delegates. So I will have to set it here. Load web view. Okay. So I would do before I add sub view. I would do web view dot delegate equals self. All right. You see that we have this network indicator, right? Tutorials, sign up. All right. Very nice. I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below, and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirers.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products, and contribute to the world.